Pack your bags and let's go for a drive. News 12 is ready for a road trip. Scenic views, museums, beaches, amusement parks, campsites. If you think it's worth the drive, we want to know about it. Go to news12.com and tell us your favorite summer road trip destination. Maybe we'll take the drive to check out one of your top 12 locales. So nominate your favorite local hotspot today and we just might see you on the road this summer. News 12's road trip is sponsored by Optimum by Altis. Watching News 12 The Bronx, I'm Michelle Devon. We want to tell you about a missing elderly woman from our borough. The NYPD issuing a silver alert for Abigail Vega. They say the 75-year-old was last seen yesterday around 3.30 in the afternoon at the ShopRite on Bruckner Boulevard. She's described as 5'5 five five and weighing about 115 pounds. We're told she was last seen wearing that black sweatshirt with white stripes, black pants, those blue slippers, and a tank knit hat, a tan knit hat. And this is 15-year-old Janayan Parsons from Castle Hill. She's also missing from our borough. Police say she was last seen yesterday on Howe Avenue, and she's five foot tall, about weighing uh, about 100 pounds, and she was wearing a black hooded sweater and blue pants at the time she went missing. If you have any information, on either of their whereabouts, you're asked to contact police immediately. All right, let's take another look at the weather with meteorologist Jeff Banson. You a nice, cool, crisp start out there. 58 right now in Park Chester, Wakefield at 57, and Throgs Neck checking in at 59 degrees. We do have winds that are continuing to come out of the northeast direction, but these are going to start to shift a little bit more to the southeast, and for that reason, we're expecting to be a few degrees cooler today, but still very nice, very seasonable, plenty of sunshine. Any cloud cover off to our south, just some high, thin clouds down through New Jersey, down towards Philly, and uh, really expecting just a ton of sunshine once again today. Here is all of that cloudiness, that shower activity, and it's really almost being forced to dance around this area of high pressure. It was just kind of sitting here, and now it's starting to move up and around that high. Just goes to show you how strong this high pressure is, but we do have a cold front approaching from the west, and that's going to eventually force the hand of that high, and it will be forced to slide away and recede, and that cloudiness and that shower activity will be moving in as we head into your Monday. Could see some uh, brief heavy downpours. It doesn't look like a wall-to-wall -wall rain event, but you'll have times uh, of nothing, and then you'll have some brief uh, periods of rain, and then we're looking, once that cold front moves through, to see some thunderstorm activity, especially Tuesday morning. That's the time I would keep an eye out for that. Second half of Tuesday doesn't look all that bad. So today, 78 in Riverdale, 77 in Parkchester, plenty of sunshine. Again, just a bit cooler than yesterday. I don't think we're going to get to 80 degrees this afternoon. 58 Riverdale tonight, 56 Norwood, 61 in Parkchester. Clouds moving in late towards tomorrow, and then uh, a unsettled start to the work week. But hey, we'll take it after this gorgeous weekend. Tuesday, Skies clear late. Wednesday's mostly sunny at 77. And then the showers return on Thursday before uh, what looks like right now a really nice forecast heading into next weekend with temperatures getting back to around 80 and more sun than clouds. Thank you, Jeff. Former Manhattan College basketball star Shane Richard is still playing basketball professionally now. News 12 The Bronx's Dan Serafin caught up with him as Shane prepares for a summer looking for the next stop on his now international basketball career. Shane Richards was at the center of one of the most successful stretches in the history of Manhattan College basketball. Now 25 years old, Richards hasn't put the ball down, just finishing his third season of pro basketball, his first overseas. Richards played for a team in Poland's pro league. It was my first time out of the country, like besides Canada, the Bahamas, okay. but like actually overseas. That was my first time like experiencing a different culture and uh, at first it was real tough at first for me but you know as, as you get adjusted to everything you know you kind of learn the culture and some of the language it's, it's easier for you to adjust. And as he adjusted to the culture Richard says his game on the court has changed as well. It's improved. I would hope so. I would hope so. Uh, I didn't shoot it as great as I wanted to this past year overseas but uh, but yeah no, I think I've added a few things to my game. I think you guys would be uh, 
be surprised at some of the things that I'm doing now. I'm definitely putting the ball on the floor a little bit more, okay. um, you know, creating my shot a little bit more, especially I got the opportunity at times to do that in Poland. So um, I was grateful for that opportunity and uh, to get better as a player. Before his season in Poland, Richard spent two years playing for the Houston Rockets affiliate in the NBA's developmental G League. I think I improved my game tremendously. Uh, just, just working with all those guys, the, the coaches there were great. They helped me after practice every single day and uh, the strength coaches and everything like that. So I definitely improved my game tremendously. Speaking of coaches, it's that path that many of Shane's Manhattan College teammates have taken. Tyler Wilson, Rashawn Stores, Mike Alvarado, all spending time on head coach Steve Masiello's staff in Riverdale. Shane says he knows they have the qualities you need to succeed in that profession. But does Shane himself have those qualities? I don't know. Uh, I think I do. Uh, maybe one day. Uh, like I said, I, I mean, I coach little kids and stuff on, on my own time and stuff. Right. But, like, I've never coached at that level. So um, I like to think I do. And uh, I'm looking forward to see, you know, what the future holds for me. Maybe. Maybe someday. We'll see. For now, Richards is happy still shooting that jump shot. This summer, he'll work to find out where he'll be doing that next season. Hopefully, you know, we have a lot more workouts with teams and whoever else is interested in, in me. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the future is bright. And uh, like I said earlier, I'm really looking forward to the summer. For News 12 The Bronx, I'm Dan Serafin. And meanwhile, New York Jets fans getting a chance to meet quarterback Sam Darnold in an effort to raise money for the Food Bank of New York. And that event happening at Bruckner Commons and was in partnership with Crest. The company will donate to ShopRite Partners in caring for every photo taken with Darnold, who took about 150 selfies with fans. The company will also give about 21 cases of toothpaste and toothbrushes to the food bank. Organizers say today's event is a creative way to give back to those in need. And today is the annual Puerto Rican Day Parade in Manhattan, but New Yorkers all across the city have been celebrating the culture and history of the island all weekend.